and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life. And today I'm gonna to be talking about what we're using for devotions and character building. Changes every heart and any heart can change you. In our homeschool, we have a first grader and a 10th grader. So for our daily devotions, I wanna make sure that I am covering both ends of the spectrum there as far as my kids getting something out of it. We used to do our daily devotions during our morning time. However, we decided that it was better for us to move it to um, evening after supper. And we don't do it every day. We do it whenever my husband's in town and everybody's at home. Um, and so that's what we've been doing just so that everybody can participate in it. So I'm just gonna show you what we've been using and what we plan to use later on this year. So the first thing that we've been using is the 10 minute Bible journey. And what I like about this is that it is short, but it's packed with a lot of information. And um, my youngest daughter is able to sit and listen to it. And my oldest daughter is able to sit and listen to it, but she still gets something out of it. So it's not like a child's devotion, but yet children can sit in and, um, and find it interesting. Also, my husband and I find it inter interesting as well. And so then we can dig a little bit deeper. We can ask some questions. We can look in the Bible to find answers to those questions. So this book has been really good. So this is the 10 minute Bible journey by Dale Mason, the big picture of scripture and 52 quick reads. I'll show you the table of contents. So you can see they've kind of made it like a circle. So it starts out with creation, then corruption, catastrophe, confusion, the covenant, um, and then commandments, and then uh, crown, captivity, Christ, the cross, the Christian era, and then um, consummation. So that is kind of the big picture, uh, the way this book has kind of laid everything out. I want to show you an example of the actual devotions. So they do have scripture they do have real pretty pictures in here they show you what bible verses so you can pull out the bible and read along with it um, and then the lesson itself is usually just one page front and back then they tell you the primary passages the key verse so if you want to do some memory work with that you could um, and then there's a wrap-up prayer that you pray at the end so uh, that's how all of them work and there's pictures so i do feel like this works really well with a variety of ages and then in addition to that for my teenager um we have a 15 year old daughter katie who is in 10th grade we've been using this little book how to ruin your life by 30 and, I, and th this has just been such a great book we're all enjoying it so much sometimes sophie sits in sometimes she doesn't but this this book is really good probably for about eighth grade and up um the audience that he's writing to is teens and people in their young 20s um and so he just gives a bunch of different things to, that you know it's sort of facetious like do this if you want to ruin your life by 30. so he goes through and it gives you examples of basically what you should not do but this book what i like the most about it is it has led to some really deep conversations um, with my daughter and and my husband is in the room my husband is also joining in on those conversations um, and that sort of thing so i really like this for like a whole family um, discussion this has been a really great book for us so like i said we're using this um, for character building but this is bible based and so we do pull out the bible we reference things and um, sometimes as my husband usually is the one that'll read this so as he's reading it it will kind of call to mind a, a certain passage of scripture and we'll pull out the bible and we'll read that how it applies um, so this has been a really good book um, particularly for katie this is how to ruin your life by 30 and i'll show you the table of contents that he has here all right so this is the table of contents we really really enjoyed this book the chapters are not like super long um, and he's really good about uh, like telling stories as he goes. So um, this is a really, really good little book. So we've really enjoyed that one. Once we finish this book, we are going to add 
this one, which is The Seven Miracles That Saved America. Um, this is by Chris and Ted Stewart. And uh, we've not started this one yet, um, but we intend to add this. I will also have Sophie in on this one. But basically, it goes through American history, and it gives you seven miracles that... Um, that happened in the formation of America or dur during different historical periods in America and it's basically written as a story. So I'm really excited to start this one. The book Seven Miracles That Saved America by Chris and Ted Stewart and then this is the table of contents here and it's just a story of how God has intervened in American history and um, how America uh, has benefited from that. And then the last book that I want to share with you is More Than Words. This is a Living Faith Bible Curriculum. This is by uh, Rebecca Spooner, and I believe it is published by Masterbooks. Um, we have started this with Sophie. This is written for first through third graders. Sophie is in first grade, um, but like I said, she has special needs and um, one of her special needs involves um, difficulty with handwriting. She has dyspraxia. So we are taking it very slowly through this book. We may actually use this book for two or three years instead of one year. So we do not follow the schedule um, that she has laid out in the book. Um, but this is what I've been using with Sophie and I am using it. I am not doing it during our devotion time. So this book is a little bit different for us. I actually do this during our homeschool time. This book is really pretty. I think it is made, um, intended to be like a workbook. This is what the, um, schedule looks like. It's broken down into quarters and then it shows you what to do every week. And then um, it tells you um, how to use it, what to do with the journal entry, the character study, um, talk about it, copy work, all of that kind of stuff. So the first quarter is about who is God. And then this is what each page looks like. So it shows you you're on week one, day one, and then this is something to read and discuss. Then this is um, also day one, week one, and this is where you talk about it. And then this is the key truth. So you can write that out. Day two is copy work. And then day two, here is a picture study and it has some information for you to talk to them about. Day three is a character study. And this whole page is about that. Day three also has a coloring picture. And then um, on the last uh, day, this is draw it. And so it says each week you have space to draw a picture, paint, or use stickers or pieces of paper to illustrate what you're learning about. Um, and so this is just sort of like some free space here to do that. And then this is your journal entry. So that's what we are doing for our family devotion and character building. So I would love to hear what y'all are using for your family devotions or if you're doing any kind of character building activities or um, books with your kids. I'd love to hear from you what you're using um, in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.